आई एम डॉक्टर राहुल वाघ आई एम एन कंसल्टेंट सर्जिकल ऑंकोलॉजिस्ट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल्स बानेर टुडे वी कॉन डिस्कस अबाउट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज ओरल कैविटी कैंसर्स सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट ओरल कैविटी कैंसर्स द कैंसर्स विच आर आइज फ्रॉम द इन साइड ऑफ आवर माउथ ओके सो ओरल कैविटी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम लिप एंड इट इज एंड्स अप टू द ओरोफेरिक्स so there are multiple subsites in oral cavity where cancer can occur but uh, the most common subsites in india are gingivocal sulcus that is uh, the area between your alveolus and buccal mucosa because that is the site where um, the tobacco is kept and uh, most of the irritant and uh, carcinogens from the tobacco are um, exposed to this particular area apart from that uh, tongue cancers then heart palate soft palate uh, floor of mouth and uh, uh, lower alveolus are the other uh, common subsites lip is also um, uh, there are various cancers where um, which can occur in lip uh, because of the it is a sun exposed portion and uh, cancers like squamous cell carcinoma and other variants of squamous cell carcinoma can occur in the lip so what are the etiologies for um, oral cavity cancers in india so the most common etiology for oral cavity cancers in india is obviously tobacco apart from that alcohol then uh, dental factors like if you are having any jack tooth with a sharp edges and it's constantly irritating the lining of mucosa or any other organ uh, then it can cause the uh, cancers there apart from that uh, syphilis uh, spicy food and um, other uh, industrial chemicals they can also be risk factor for oral cavity cancers then uh, what are the symptoms and signs of this uh, oral cavity cancer usually any uh, ulcer which is there in oral cavity which is not healing for a period of greater than 1 month and if it is bleeding on touch or if there is any abnormal induration surrounding that and uh, there is um, this is uh, persistent uh, for a long time then there is a possibility that this ulcer might be cancerous and you have to meet your oncologist to get it um, checked and if required then you have to do unnecessary investigations like biopsy apart from ulcer then there are some symptoms which can be uh, uh, presenting symptoms of oral cavity cancers like pain while swallowing or difficulty in swallowing change in your voice or any pain which is referred to your ears so these are the common um, signs and symptoms of oral cavity cancers uh, usually uh, these cancers uh, are diagnosed by means of an biopsy which is a opd procedure where an oncologist will take a small sample of a tissue from your uh, uh, abnormal lesion and send it for a microscopic examination so once the diagnosis is confirmed then we do certain staging investigations like uh, mri then ct scan or uh, pet ct to stage the disease and uh, then according to the stage of the disease uh, treatment is advised to you so treatment for oral cavity cancers is usually consisting of surgery surgery is done to remove the uh, tumor along with the ma- margin of normal surrounding tissue at least 1 cm margin needs to be taken all around and apart from that the draining lymph nodes which are there on that particular side in the neck they are also sampled and sent for an histopathological examination so uh, if required your stage is on a higher side then you may require radiation or chemotherapy uh, or both so that is how they are usually treated there are various recent advances which has happened in the field of um, oral cavity cancer surgery into the plastic reconstructive techniques so uh, the patient's um, cosmetic appearance and uh, facial uh, integrity and shape can, uh, will be preserved um, as much as possible and the uh, there is an increased emphasis on the early rehabilitation of these uh, patients uh, rehabilitation includes dental prosthetics then uh, gene um, or a jaw pre- uh, deviation prevention uh, devices then uh, there is a role of implants early on um, into the uh, transplanted bone so that a patient will have an uh, dentures um, reinstalled uh, uh, by the time they recover from all these treatments then apart from that there is a big role of uh, speech therapy and uh, language um, you know, therapies so that patients are able to communicate and preserve their speech then there is a role of 
uh, swallowing uh, therapies because many of the patients uh, can have a dyspepsia or difficulty in swallowing after these surgeries so that also ha- plays an important role um, in the management of um, uh, rehabilitation of these patients and um, uh, with these recent advances uh, many of the patients are coming out uh, uh, in a very good shape uh, and they are able to live their life uh, normally thank you